Hi guys, my name is Shamanis. Okay, um, my first piece, well, I'm going to do two pieces tonight. My first one is called um, Stupid Tutors. What's the point in teaching if you, your students don't understand what you're saying? Still, you move on to the next topic and then the ones that are straying. Private schools stay way ahead because in our society, you only get when you're paying. Blood from storms. You take blood from my bones. Suck the fun out my soul. Until my nose bleeds green, you won't even notice this cold. I'm sick to my stomach. The food in the cafeteria is awful. Can't nourish my soul. Bruise me from the inside, they want to tarnish my gold. Rotten apples. Excuse me, miss, but this was shiny when I gave it to you. Wonder why I'd be mad and start flipping tables. Throw my future away because you just wasn't able. You see, when teachers turn preachers, I get a little uncomfortable. Look me dead in my eyes. I am my student ID. I came here to learn. My real name is Chevenise. I could teach you how to say it if you cared to ask. Instead, you dragged my passive mind from fucking task to task. Get, get frustrated because I don't understand the thing you asked. But if you paid attention, you'd notice since last semester, I've been lost. In my thoughts thinking about, I hope my teachers ain't shit. And I spend all my time, but it still ain't it. Because I'd rather sit at home and listen to the greatest hits than to sit in your list lesson, staring at my goddamn wrist. But that's the pain I feel when I'm in your presence. But you don't care how I feel, as long as I am present. Really, you just do it for the peso. You ain't a teacher, you're a number on the payroll. There's got to be a way for you to see through my soul. Though I thought you'd been where I am, so you should already know. I wonder why they keep the dark clouds over the brightest ones, no matter the weather. Does it help your economy grow? Is it really for the better? To lock, to lock the bright ones away so that they never ever, I mean, never ever give them a chance to shine. You think we're stupid because you don't understand our minds. We've got to do better. Please help us do better. Find the hearts of your students or the future's tarnished forever. that trouble town, so yeah. Um, and the next one is called Anxiety. I'm gonna close my eyes at the beginning of this one if you don't mind. Anxiety feels like the loud humming of a wasp you can't see. Anxiety feels like catching butterflies with your mouth. Butterflies that reverse cocoon into caterpillars. You feel it crawling around in your stomach. Anxiety feels like a boxing match between you and your own breath. The result either way is that you lose. Anxiety feels like rinsing your mouth with salt water and accidentally swallowing a little bit. It's a terrible taste of your own mistakes. Anxiety feels like being trapped in a room with closing walls made of spikes, floor made of Lego, and a roof made of asteroids. There's no escape in this dreadful fate. Anxiety feels like throwing rocks at a wall made of rubber bands. The harder you try to get rid of it, the harder it hits back. Anxiety feels like praying for the sun after 13 days of rain, only to open up your window and see a tsunami of waves. Anxiety feels like being Pac-Man in a world with no power pellets, just ghosts. No strength to fight, you can run, but there's no place to hide. Anxiety feels like trying to escape a forest of fallen trees. With no oxygen, you cannot breathe. Anxiety feels like smoking 20 cigarettes in your bedroom, one after the other. With your windows closed, doors closed, black smoke, you can't see a way out. Anxiety feels like being trapped in a space shuttle and hearing the panic buzzer. Buttons flashing everywhere, no signal to earth. You sit and hope that it stops, but it gets louder and louder. You scream until the air around you occupies your lungs till they explode. Anxiety feels like wanting them to explode. Anxiety feels like wanting everything to explode. And that's anxiety.